Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to uh, another video here. Thanks for tuning in. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. Doing something a little different today. Uh, we got a pretty small load, but it's three stops. So, three different stops for this morning's load. We're just heading through beautiful Chester County here, heading into the sunrise. But anywho, we got three stops on this load, a pretty light load, a couple deck packages, some some uh, skids of sacrete, and we're hauling for, you know, the local lumber yard there, and uh, we got our own Moffat trailer up and running now, so this is my first time running this outfit here with the new piggyback and the new trailer or new slash used trailer it's not the nicest trailer it's kind of refurbished so anyway stay tuned for the day we're going to be doing this we're going to go to uh devon pa and we're going to go over to avondale pa Last stop is in Nottingham, PA, and then we're going to reload in Oxford down there at the treatment plant to bring that back up to New Holland. And uh, after that, we're going to be servicing the truck. So I was going to do two loads of lumber, but out of Oxford, that is, but I got to get this thing serviced. So that's what we're going to be doing after that. So if you want to see how an oil change works here in the 379 why well, stay tuned for that towards the second half of the video hope you all enjoy it appreciate you all tuning in stay tuned said guys give me feedback in the comments of that video or this video whatever just keep giving me feedback on it you know let me know if you like it or um, if you have different ideas of the interviews I'll I'll take them so we want to continue to do one one a month so uh, we'll see how it goes I got another one on deck so we got about five minutes to the job site here yet. We got to make a left on business 30 here and just a couple miles down the road and we'll be there. To get, uh, it's like one, two, three, I think it's five skids. A couple of small skids and a pack of two buys, two by fours or something like that. Nobody's answering the door, so 
looks like the only option really is to put it right by the driveway so that's what we're going to do i'm going to pull up ahead or actually you know what i'm going to stay right here because i don't want to block that guy's driveway so we'll shut the truck off and uh we'll get this thing unloaded I'm not sure if we're, I'm not sure if it's for a deck or yeah it's right yeah I I called him and, well he didn't answer then he called me back and I'd already put some over there he said to put it here so put it there okay. he said he got permission so I don't know. all right yeah because <laughs> I guess he needs to get back there with a lift so oh all right then that's yeah I think he's taking a section of the fence down okay. or something so that's good all right thanks sir <laughs> this area is there's just low branches galore be hitting your stacks all the time it's nice here though nice area I don't think there's anybody sitting there so we should be able to make this pretty easy I'm gonna get back out to 202 over here in the this lane so we can swing this turn to go under the bridge I also can't drop my rear airbags I don't have a an axle dump so it gets a little tight I'm gonna hit the car 
curb a little bit. Oh well. I should have stayed over a little more, a couple feet. I hit it by about 10 inches, but it's a tapered curb, so no damage to the tires if you hit it, but you know, still don't like to hit it. guys we are getting ready to drop at our third stop here got some low wires to the right so I'm just gonna kind of stay over here well, we're getting ready to drop off at number three which is gonna empty the trailer and there's a job that I'm supposed to deliver to on Wednesday that's like a three-quarter mile from here and they're telling me it's you know really really tight so he would kind of want me to go down there and and check it out if I can. So it's just the other side of the creek. So maybe we'll have to do that yet. I don't know. Trying to make this delivery here. Nobody's a, nobody comes to the door. Contractor don't answer. It's only three skids. <coughs> Excuse me. So. I can't get through that little gate, so I don't know. I guess I'll just unload it and stack it off to the side of the road because I don't have much choice. I mean, nobody's answering. I can't sit here all day waiting for somebody to call back. So I guess that's what we'll do. We'll just pull up here, unload it on the side there, you know, and it is what it is. They'll have to carry it in through. part of it when you're doing home deliveries you know you're trying to get a hold of the customer and nobody answers but hey we'll get her unloaded here still didn't get a hold of anyone so we're gonna do what we have to do I called the lumber guys that, that I'm hauling for they said do what you got to do we're not gonna wait around so I'm gonna give a quick review of this uh, piggyback here I really like it now do I like this better than the Moffat I don't know. I haven't ran it long enough yet, but all painted up and looking nice. Sam did a good job on it. And uh, we ended up putting a bunch of new hydraulic hoses on it, but yeah, overall I like it. So let's get this on loaded and keep on moving. We just set it in there on the driveway still haven't heard from the customer or anything like that so we're just gonna cruise on out of here we're looking pretty clean today it's gonna be sunny all week but hot it's gonna be hot calling for a uh, couple days in the 90s heat index over 100 all that fun stuff Let's get on over to the lumber yard, grab a load of treated lumber to take back, and then we'll get this truck serviced. I mentioned it that there's a 
a job that I got to deliver to on Wednesday right down the road so I came this way here it is they're thinking I can't get in here which looks like they might be correct <laughs> it's it's tight I mean I could probably swing it like I got room over here to swing and it kind of wise off I could probably make it but it looks like up on the hill and all kinds of fun stuff so I'm gonna come in here and see where the construction is and right here they got a lift so maybe they can carry it up from here I don't know but yeah I don't think I'm I'm, I'm not getting in there so it's up a hill tight all that I don't want to use the Moffat to do it so we're gonna have to find out if that can do it with the telehandler otherwise I'm gonna say no to this job <laughs> it's just not not gonna work out too steep of a hill for this little lift unless it's all small packs it might work but yep I'll tell them what I seen here took some pictures and we'll go from there so let's keep rolling
All right, well, he's getting it loaded now. All right, so I made it down here to the lumber yard and it's gonna load about 14,000 board feet on me, which should be about right because of the lift being on the back there, you know. Gotta take a little less with that on there. No, I, I have to, yeah. It's all loaded up now and we're ready to head on back so take this on back to uh new holland i will see you guys back at the shop so before we start with the uh service on the truck we're gonna eat this piece of shoe fly pie now if you know anything about lancaster county this is a uh tradition here shoe fly pie it's like a molasses cake so my wife makes this herself so guess what recipes in the description that's what we're driving tomorrow it looks like there's room in here for us though um just thinking i'd have to move that truck out but i don't think so i have room we'll open up the door pull it in here and drain the oil the oil pan over here and then we got the easy drain right there so all you got to do is push it up push the tab up and flip it over I'm gonna let that drain a little and then I'm gonna take the filter off over there. But um, while it drains and everything, I'm gonna shine up the tires on this and on that one because we're driving that tomorrow and you know, it's clean, he washed it, but could use some tire shine. So we're gonna put tire shine on that truck and on this one. So I have a sponge here that I use and then I got my tire shine in the bunk, so I gotta get that out, which they stock it here. So I just use what they have here. Not the best stuff on the market, but it's definitely good stuff. A little bit on the brush, some on the tire, and then we'll wipe, wipe the rims down afterwards. Just like that. Wipe it in there. We're good to go. Got the Dewalt battery grease gun here. Oh, it's 
hot under there man i just doing the doing the drive line and everything and the brakes underneath getting everything greased and it's, i got a little fan running over there but man it is hot so i got everything greased there we still didn't get the new deck plate so technically i need to have a deck plate there but i don't yet so we need to get that done i got that nice reefer trailer out there he's got the truck around somewhere but like i told you guys before he's from florida but he parks here uh because he's related to the guys at the shop next door so he's got a nice 386 but i don't know where it's at it's not here now so we'll let the oil drain for a little bit yet put fresh oil in all right so we're gonna do the fuel filters too primary and the secondary all fleet guard that's what we use Make sure that's on there you don't want to double gasket that filter throw that away Next is the oil filter. Another thing we had done that I didn't show you guys yet is we got all new manifold gaskets. See that? It's done by Sindel Truck Repair. So they took care of all that for us and did a good job on it. So we got the oil filter in there. I should replace this belt soon. It's pretty old and I don't know, it's not like cracking yet, but it's got a couple spots on it that seem like they're starting to wear pretty hard. So I should get that fixed, just replace it, you know? So, well, we're pretty much done here, except for uh, refilling the oil. All right, we're ready to fill her back up. And Sam got this nice barrel with the, uh, just stick it in the fill tube and pump it right here. So first time I'm using it really. a 
I'm sure that wasn't cheap. All right, guys, she's all serviced up, so ready for some more work. But she's gonna be parked for tomorrow because, like I was saying, Roman's off. Put this back in place. Uh, Roman's off for a few days on vacation. So we're gonna be letting this parked in the shop. I gotta back it out. Wipe that one down, take it out, hook it up to the trailer, take you guys along for a few uh, equipment moves tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. So we started about 3.30 a.m. this morning, went to pick this telehandler up and uh, bring it down to Newtown Square here because we gotta be down in South Jersey early because we gotta bring that lift back up to Plymouth meeting for our guys. And they want it, you know, first thing this morning. So I want to have it there by 8 o'clock. So we'll see how this goes. to the job here nice and early before the traffic hits i kind of straddled the one lane here that way people get over so we're gonna go in that driveway right here so i got all the chains off so let's get her done in here it would have been pretty tight and we got all these trees we would have been hitting with the stacks so figured I better stay out by the road and drive it all the way in here all right got her parked up over here nobody around nice and quiet this morning but I'm gonna plug in this backup alarm again I had unplugged it, that way it's not, you know, beeping early in the morning and waking folks up, so just disconnected it, and uh, until I got it here, then hooked it up again. It's kind of how I do usually. Yeah, it would have been just a little tight bringing the truck in here, you know, just a little bit. Would have been hitting a lot of trees, you know. It's far back in this driveway, I mean, we're talking probably three-quarter mile something like that way back in so I don't know maybe get my morning run in it's warm this morning though let's go up to 94 might as well get a jog in you know all right made it back out to the street here we'll get the chains in the box and head on out of here
right guys it took me long to find this key i guess they were having issues with people taking off with the keys and stealing stuff so they hit the keys really well i couldn't get a hold of anyone and uh finally got it figured out so we're ready to head on up to uh plymouth meeting with this one to another one of our job sites so finally got it figured out but i was here for probably 45 minutes so <laughs> that'll set me back a little but hey it is what it is you do what you gotta do you know so let's get rolling well we had an accident on 95 and now we got all kinds of traffic here on 476 which is you know pretty normal here so I don't think we really got anything going on it's just normal volume but 95 is all messed up this morning coming through Chester so a little bit of a mess but we'll get there eventually just taking a lot longer than I hoped because they need this machine they are waiting on this machine now so yeah whatever side is just as bad or worse than the northbound see if we can get the old cat to blow a little smoke Somebody's gonna have a beautiful place over here, that's for sure. Couldn't get in here because they're working, so I just parked out there. There's a gate over there that I think I can get through, so Let's see what we can do. did get it loaded and it actually worked out good they sent their flaggers down the road a little farther that way they can stop traffic up past the truck so everything worked out let's roll
Still sounds better than the Cummins. Especially on the Jake brakes. We're gonna stop here and get some fuel before we go and load this, because we gotta go to Harrisburg yet, too, so. We'll get some fuel, and then we gotta get this unloaded and head on out to Harrisburg. All right, we're getting her filled up with fuel. And, uh, gotta drop the lift off yet, and like I said, go to Harrisburg. So. As you've seen, we got it on loaded, set it over there. So uh, now we head on to Harrisburg, but that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. All on equipment again, something different. So hope you enjoyed the content. See you next time.